Sims 5 has had theories of the releasing date since Sims 4 came out. The more years have passed, the more theories there have been about the releasing year. I think a lot of us fell for the fake trailers in the past as well. I can't be the only one, okay? But since 10 years has passed since Sims 4 was released, people have started to assume that Sims 5 will be released very soon. Some people seem to be calculating that when Sims 4 came out in 2014, the Sims 5 would come out in 2025 because the numbers would match. I even feel like lately there was a trend on TikTok to be spreading information about Sims 5, which was supposed to be released soon, you know? I don't know where the trend started, did the developers on accident give wrong understood hints, or did people trust too deeply of the 10 years rule? People have been speculating a lot if it would be like open world game, more like Sims 3, how the graphics would look and all that stuff. And you guys who were very excited of the Sims 5, I have bad news. Sims 5 is cancelled. Oh well, can it even be cancelled if it was never even to come? Since the rumors has went to EA's years 2, they have claimed Sims 5 is not coming out anytime soon. Meaning the closest years it would be released would be 2026, but even that sounds way too close. Instead, the developers claim to focus more than ever on Sims 4. Going deeper on the subject, trying to shush all the fake news from my eyes while reading articles, I finally found what I was looking for. The answer is what will happen for the Sims. Will Sims 4 just get DLCs for the years to come like the last 10 years, or will there actually be changes? And what is Project Rene? Please forgive my accent. <laughs> According to The Sims fans, a lot of people seem to be speculating that it would be a secret name for The Sims 5. According to the sources, which you by the way can find linked in the below, Sims 4 might be soon that Sims 5 we waited for. Yes, you heard correctly. Now, don't get me wrong. Sims 4 will always stay as Sims 4, but developers are planning to change the game itself. Not radically, but give it options we all ask to get in Sims 5. For example, the multiplayer options. And now I'm gonna read something EA has said. We are not going to be working on replacements of previous projects, we are only going to be adding to our universe. With that, you will see there are ways to experience the Sims on different platforms, different ways to play, transmedia and lots of great offerings within this universe. So absolutely, we are still continuing to support TS4 more than ever. Still continue to deliver expansion packs and updates and fixes. The way we are going to do things going forward is a little different and it's really exciting and it's really the most expensive iteration of The Sims yet. EA has mentioned Project Rene which also caused theories and speculation if it is a secret term for The Sims 5 development. Finally, EA has stated in a post that this actually is not about Sims 5. They said Project Rene will continue and will be focused on building ways to friends to meet, connect and share while playing together in an all new world. Now this seems to be a very clean hint. The Sims 5 is finally getting a multiplayer option and since they are including parts we waited for in Sims 5, it makes sense they are not focusing on Sims 5 anytime soon. I honestly think that it might be even more 10 years to get Sims 5 if Sims 4 is actually getting the most of the options we expected to have in Sims 5. Now, why not just make Sims 5 and leave Sims 4 behind? Let's go first to my speculation before the real reasons. Well at first, this is a good for customers, no need to immediately buy the new game and new expansion packs. I mean, Sims 4 literally costs over 1000 euros if you want to include all the expansion packs, so I would assume a lot of Sims 4 players, especially the potential customers who actually buy most of the packs, would stick on the previous game and not move for Sims 5, even if that got released now. Secondly, I think it is way cheaper to change a game, which is still alive and not dead from the players, than actually develop a new game and ponder all day if the players will move too. Now remember, this is just my speculation before looking up the real reasons, so don't take this as immediately as a fact, you know? The real reason, according to EA, is that they just want to stop the replacement hobby. Sims 1 got overrun by Sims 2, then Sims 3 overrun bot, and now Sims 4 has taken most, even the loyal Sims players with it. It is like killing the older games by a new one and all the work gets kinda left behind. 
This sounded a bit weird for me to be honest, because Sims players are in my experience the most loyal players for old games. Okay, fine, after the World of Warcraft players. <laughs> but you get what I mean. I think most of us know at least that one guy who still plays Sims 2 or Sims 3 more than Sims 4. So this is what exactly EA has claimed. The way to think about it, it is historically the Sims franchise started with Sims 1 and then Sims 2, 3 and 4 and they were seen as replacements for previous products. Gorman said, What we're really working with our community on is this a new era of The Sims. We are not going to be working on replacements of previous projects, we are only going to be adding to our universe. With that, you will see there are more ways to experience The Sims on different platforms, different ways to play, trans media, and a lot of great offerings with this universe. So absolutely, still continue to deliver expansion packs and updates and fixes, but what this has to say is, the way we are going to do things going forward is a little different, and it's really exciting and it's really the most expansive iteration of The Sims yet. Now as I already said, it makes sense to focus only one game and keep it alive for years and try to keep the player base there instead of always trying to move them to another, because it always holds risk. And especially now, when there's finally competition coming, for example, Inzoi, Inzoi, is that how you spell it? I really hope so. Which, by the way, is very much a weighted game and has shown a huge potential. I'm going to make a game list of incoming games like Sims, so stay tuned if you want to hear more from me. Let's go to the next question. Did Inzoi cancel Sims 5? It is hard to say, I think yes and no. Sims 5 definitely was not coming out soon, no matter of Inzoi. Uh, please, I, again, for the second time, I really hope I'm saying it correctly, and if I'm not, I am super sorry. But yeah, Sims 5 definitely is not coming out soon, no matter what, but it could make sense to also just release way later than it was originally planned. Now again, it is just my speculation. If I was under control of Sims 5, I would release it years later than in Zoe to bring something new in the market when the most upgraded game has already been there for years and has come down from the hype and from the player base. And it also makes sense to finally make an already existing game having options. It is just a smart move for the customers as for the company to do it this way. And since I'm reading this text I have been writing here, I need to add something which I didn't write in here. I don't think that Sims 5 was even close to be done anytime soon, no matter of Inzoi, because if Sims 5 would be like almost done, I don't think there would be any turning back anymore. They would like force themselves to release it because making games is very expensive and I don't know any reason why some people would, you know, keep a game, ready game unreleased because of, of an, another similar game. So no, I don't think Sims 5 was even like halfway done yet and it has nothing to do with Inzoi. So let's bring two questions more. What will Project Runner bring and if Sims 4 gets what Sims 5 was expected to bring, what will Sims 5 even be then? Project Runner has not completely revealed what it will bring, but I think the multiplayer is pretty obvious and one of the biggest things. PCGames.com typed this in their article, which is linked in below as well. If you spend hours organizing the perfect long setup, patiently arranging it through, caution, lighting and plant, it stands to reason you might want to show it off. Project Render lets you cutter up the whole collection and save it before posting it online for others to use. This should make downloading Sims 4 CC easier than ever, allowing creators and their creations to flourish. However, it would not be a Sims game without the Sims. Behind the scenes, Sims behind the Sims, you get it? Project Render update gives us a look at how our tiny human will appear in Project Render. While these prototype booths are still far from the final product, it confirms that Sims will be making an appearance in this spin-off, albeit in a more simplified form. However, their inclusion opens the door for in-depth character customizations. Project Render is going to be tested in 2024 fall, so very soon if not already when this video gets released. EA is going to do a playtest and it is possible to take part in by singing into it and hope to be chosen or, or whatever their method is going to be for it. So what will Sims 5 be? No one knows. I would assume Sims 5 will be with different, hopefully a bit more realistic graphics, if you ask me. Like Sims 3 was, not so cartoon style but still cozy looking. And hopefully open world, unless Sims 4 is actually going to get rid of these annoying loading screens finally. All the options Sims 5 would have been special will now be called Pro X Rene and included in Sims 4. 
win for the customers, also win for the company. I don't think Sim 4 will change from the graphics so much, maybe a little bit, overall it's over a 10 years old game. But I am pretty sure the cartoon Sims 4 is therefore always going to stay, whether you liked it or not. Anyways, subscribe to my channel if you feel like it, it would help me a lot, so thanks if you did that. I hope this video was not so confusing. I kind of made this in a hurry and since Halloween and Christmas are just behind the door, I have so many video ideas I want to make before the next year. I just had to make this update video as well, because this is a very interesting subject. Anyways, we will see in the next video, hopefully, so until then, bye bye!